And so basically, they're attracting each other because he is more in tune with his femininity, he's cooking, he's cleaning, he's playing video games. And so they're attracting each other. And as they start to see each other, she thinks, well, nobody can put up with my character. So she compromises being with him. And he thinks nobody gonna put up with him because he's not a provider and protector. So he attracts someone who will protect him financially. So this is the second cylinder. Both of the cylinders are on the emotional level. What starts to happen on the third cylinder? People continue to live this way, overworking or ignoring their purpose in life. Man continues to uh, ignore his purpose, not working, being really lazy at home playing video games, and the woman continues to work. On the second layer, by the way, what I forgot to mention is that she starts to having um, chronic pains, like migraine headaches starting to happen sometimes, allergy, colds and flus, and viruses. So as for a man. So this is the second cylinder. Viruses, colds, flus, allergies, and all uh, minor chronic pains with joints might start to happen on the second cylinder because it's lacking the energy. Third, she continues to work hard. She starts to having now a respiratory problem, colon problem, l or liver problem, um, headaches, severe headaches, um, back pains, neck pains, everything starts to be times five. Where on the second level, it's starting to show the signals. Now they start to connect to the organs for both man and woman. A man on the third cylinder starts to drink because he cannot deal with the pressure in life that she's complaining that he's not working and he cannot find a job, so he feels like a loser. A woman at this point works even harder, not realizing that she is having dependent her husband, herself, and also her children. And at this point on the third level, she stop being attractive to a man because she's so masculine now she starts to get attracted to who? Do you want to guess? Women. Yes. Yes. And what happens to a man during this third stage? He starts to be attracted to women and he starts to get attracted to who? Men. Yes. And this is 5,000 year old spiritual knowledge. Of course, it's not gonna be open in United States and Western world because the knowledge like that will be buried really fast. But that's how people become lesbians and homosexuals. Because at this point he resents her for being his mama and telling him every day, find a job, find a job, uh, stop being a baby boy. And he starts to hate her. And in his mind, he starts to think that a man is the answer. I'm not saying all of gay men will go through this route, but majority will. It just starts to happen with his mom being when he was a five and six year old, and now it really gets much bigger out of control when he's married. And same thing with women. She just cannot stand men altogether anymore, and he cannot stand women altogether anymore. So this is the third cylinder. So whether the five cylinders emotionally healthy was this big, the second were this big, the third is this big. On the fourth, what starts to happen, she continues to work, ignoring her liver problem, she's smoking, or she has a colon problem, or stomach, or anything else that is starting to be a serious problem, she's starting to have tumors. Tumors, but it's not cancerous yet, but it's tumors. And what she does, she goes to a doctor, get a surgery to remove this tumor, 
or that tumor, still not waking up. So as for a man, he started to have a tumor. And what do you think happens on the fifth cylinder? Cancer or life yes. taking yes. diseases. Yes. And on the fifth cylinder, it's this much. Person doesn't have any energy that flows into any organs or any nervous system, so the body cannot comprehend it anymore. So the person starts to develop cancer. Now, what I would like to go over now is how to heal those cylinders. Because Vedas also explained, if our body can get ill and to get to a cancer, and by the way, on the fifth cylinder, also where we have nervous system problem, autoimmune system problem, and severe mental health problems. It takes long time to get there, and it takes a long time to heal, but it is possible. And now we'll go into practical examples and solutions to how to heal that. So, in order to heal any problems, hypersensitivity, hyper irritation for a woman on the first cylinder, there's three solutions, and I will be sharing now what I do because I use all three. Okay, and now I would like for you to start writing down. So if you ever feel moody, irritated, frustrated, it's already a signal that you're starting to lack energy. The best thing to do, and now you will have to understand that you got to do dynamic and static exercise. Dynamic uh, is something that you got to move. Static is something where you do not move. So when I wake up, I do first uh, meditation. Meditation, you can do five different poses. So if you're meditating or praying, you can start using a static pose that will help you to overcome those five cylinders. Okay? The easiest pose is the butterfly. Turkish pose is not considered a pose that will help you during a static exercise. Now this is askeza. Askeza meaning even though it's not comfortable for you to do, but you're doing it in order to overcome these five layers and heal them and bring energy to them. And so the easiest one, you sit straight, but instead of the Turkish position, you have a butterfly position. So your legs are pretty much like this, butterfly position. The longer you sit, the longer layers of the cylinders you break through. For example, you sit doing meditation, 12 minutes, no pain, no problems. That means you have not even gone through the first layer of cylinder. The moment on the 12th or 13th minute, you're starting to feel pain in your hip or in your foot. That means you're going through the first layer of cylinder. But let's be honest, most of the people who have health, not health, irritability is teenagers. When we're adults, we have a bigger problems to solve with. So if you have, for example, allergies, colds, viruses, you have to break at least through two cylinders. For example, anxiety, Edith, is on the fifth layer. Make sense? This is very important. And in order for you to break through the cylinder, you got to sit in a butterfly position anywhere between 60 to 80 minutes in order to break free through break through five cylinders. And so this is how you're going to do it in a butterfly position. You're doing the prayer or meditation, but you've got to sit a long time. Will it happen naturally right away? No, it will take a long time. But this is how you do it in the static pose. Or instead of sitting in a butterfly position, you're doing it standing up. For some people, it's very hard to do it in a sitting position. So if you're standing up and doing the meditation, you are doing the break through the cylinder much faster. Instead of 60 to 80 minutes, you will need somewhere between 45 to 55 minutes to break through all five cylinders. In the beginning, it's better to stand up leaning against wall. Otherwise, some people start falling with their head down. 
So it's better to have wall, and if you start moving a little bit, you, you can just fully lean with the wall and you will not fall. Exactly. Between 45 to 55 minutes. And how you will know which cylinder you're breaking through is again, after eight minutes, you're gonna start feeling very uncomfortable pain in the back. That means if you overcome this pain and not walking away, that means you overcame first cylinder. Another 10 minutes later, you're starting to feel uncomfortable pain or headache. Instead of stopping, wait a minute and it will go away. That means you break through the second cylinder. If you stay another 15 minutes, the third pain gonna start kick in. Somewhere in your belly, in your lungs, and that means if you will overcome that, you break through the third cylinder. So what I'm trying to say, wherever your pain is, that's where it's gonna show up in the first, second, and third, and fourth cylinder. It's healing you, basically. And if you're stopping during this moment, you're not healing. Then there's more complex uh, poses, but I don't wanna go over them because they're really complex. So I will leave you right now with butterfly or standing up because the other one, the diamond one and the lotus one is really complicated. You have to be really advanced to do it. The true yogis and Vedic wisdom teachers can do it. Now, so this is one way overcoming the cylinders. Second way, running. Either fast walk or running. Now, if you are running to overcome five cylinders, it will take you three hours and 20 minutes. We calculated it with my teacher, okay? A long time. And so that will, be, will take you time to build and you do it every five days, not every day, every five days. But if your cylinder is located on the third level, you don't need to run three hours because yours is located on the third and it might be only two hours and 25 minutes and then you're done. Unless you have a cancer first stage or a serious anxiety that you need to run three hours and 20 minutes. If you do the walking, you gotta do the walking fast and it will take five hours <laughs> and 20 minutes to break through all five cylinders. When you have chronic brain inflammation, this is level four. This is level four. And that means instead of three hours and 20 minutes, uh, your breakthrough of the fourth cylinder will happen anywhere between two hours and 20 minutes to two hours, uh, 35 minutes. If you are running, if you are gonna be standing it's gonna be anywhere between 40 minutes or 45 minutes, somewhere there. But only you as you're standing gonna start feeling first pain gone through, second pain gone through, third pain gone through, fourth pain, pain gone through. That means you've gone through the all four cylinders. Clear? Yes, Two hours, 25 minutes is too long. Yes, ladies, it's a long time. So now I'm gonna share with you third askeza to break through cylinders. That is my favorite. So I run <laughs> after meditation, after butterfly position, then I run. I cannot run two hours and 35 minutes. I'm not there yet. I'm running between 45 to 55 minutes. I'm building it up. But when I come home, I get to the third askeza, I get a cold water in my bath. You can do it in the pool, you can do it in the lake, you can do it in the ocean, but it has to be um, Celsius, it's 14 degrees. I don't know how much it will be in the Fahrenheit. If you can, somebody look it up on your phone. It's pretty cold, but it's not ice cold. And so you lay down in this cold bathtub for 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, you go through five layers of cylinder. You don't have to do all three askezas, by the way. I do it because I really wanna heal my back and my arthritis. But you don't have to because my goal is to get the butterfly for at least two hours. I wanna get the running to at least two hours and 45 minutes. And I'm already doing the cold water for 20 minutes. If you're gonna get into ice cold water, all you need is four minutes to break through five layers of cylinders. 
you don't need that much but the water has to be cold and after three minutes you're going to start feeling like you're shaking stay in the water one minute later you're going to start feeling calm that means first layer gone through five minutes later you're again shaking or your belly hurts that means your belly is healing and you're overcoming the second layer then five minutes later again you start shaking that means you go through the third layer and so the goal is to go through all five layers in the cold water pool is okay bath is okay ocean is okay rivers is okay anywhere but when you're in the water only your head can stick out if you're gonna have only half of your body like that that means you're gonna get sick you're gonna get cold flu or virus only your head stick out and you're not moving you're not swimming you're staying in the cold water. And then as soon as you get out, you can get into the hot shower or get a really warm blanket and get a hot tea and stay warm. Because if you're gonna be cold, you also can get sick. I take a hot shower for three minutes. I drink a hot tea with ginger and I'm fine. Uh, first minute, uncomfortable. And then when you go through the cylinders, it's uncomfortable. But otherwise, it's the fastest way to go through all five cylinders and healing them. But if you do, again, static, not moving butterfly position, then dynamic, you're running. Because after running, getting into cold water, again, being static is easy because your body is hot. And so your body wants a cold and then you go into cold it feels great i'm doing all three ascases you don't have to you can choose just one running cold water or butterfly position during meditation or prayer choice is yours ladies but this is how you heal all five layers of cylinders because what starts to happen you start to get energy into the organ that is needing it if you have toxins, it starts to clear toxins. If you have a feminine organs that is not working on the third, fourth layer, it starts to break through that. If you start having, if you're having uh, chronic brain inflammation, it gives you that on the fourth cylinder. Any question about how to heal five cylinders, psychic cylinders? I have a question about the cold water. Is this we're doing this daily because I think for the running you said every five days yes but the cold water is daily I do it cold water daily because I'm running daily but cold water is also every five days okay. yeah yeah because ladies what I've noticed when I'm running uh, I feel that mm, the energy and the flow of the happiness starts to overflow and that's what it helps me to get my day because as I'm running, I'm connecting to creator, uh, sky, leaves, flowers. It just gives me so much energy that I enjoy it. And that's why after running, I'm like, oh, I might as well go do a skeza in the cold water. You don't have to. You don't have to. All of these askezas are designed to do every five days. But I'm also noticed if I do everything five days, I'm not in the routine of doing it. And for me, it's easy to do every day, <laughs> but you don't have to. Obviously, when it will be very cold, I might not do this. But right now it's summer. I wake up early, done my meditation, and I go running, and then I get in the cold water. If once you're going to get in the cold water, and you're going to feel so much ecstatic, exciting, and happy energy, because your body gets energy where it's lacking, you won't be able to live without it. Running is still a little bit tough for me, even though I get a lot of happiness from it afterwards. But while running is still to go through first two layers of cylinder, I feel like, oh, when will I get to the second cylinder? Because after the second cylinder, I feel like I get the uh, new breath and then running is easy. But to get there, it takes me 18 and a half minutes somewhere around 18 to 19 minutes and <laughs> kind of tough but once you get there it's amazing so as the cold water and butterfly is just easy you know butterfly is just easy 
How do you feel? Do you feel like you're going to integrate any of this into your lifestyle? I'm definitely going to try them. I've always loved ice baths. Yeah. By the way, if you like ice bath, again, in order to break uh, through five cylinders, you need anywhere between four to five minutes. I think it's only just four. So it's very quick. But again, only your head has to stick out. No arms, no knees, no breasts, no belly. Everything has to be in the water. And then you really have to get a blanket right next to it and get your warm. Otherwise, you can get a cold. Please know that, okay? Very powerful Askeza. And it will take you only four minutes. Isn't that great? Yes, I'm curious. Yes. How will you notice when it starts working? Like, how for how long do you have to do this? Do you also have to do this as maintenance? Joy, honestly, I started doing the water, integrated water, only five days ago. Do you know, on the third day, my back pain dropped from five to two. Three days later, three days later, my arthritis on my right hand uh, got better on the second day, on the, it, it shifted from level five to level three. On the third day, it shifted from level three to level two. And today and last night, I didn't feel any pain in my arthritis on my right hand. It's that quick, that quick. So it's now going to take you, it's now going to take you a week and two. And that's why, again, why I'm running and why I'm doing cold bath cold every day is because I want to heal my spine. I want to heal my arthritis. It's, it's pretty annoying when I can do, I cannot do yoga like Gabriella does. And I love doing yoga because of my arthritis. Most of the things is just annoyingly painful. I cannot finish my book typing it because my right hand is giving me a problem. And so I'm committed now, I see how. <laughs> and before I realized I was not running long enough to break through five cylinders, but I realized there's other askezas, askezas like butterfly and cold bath that I can break through all five cylinders. And for me, my pain is located on the third cylinder. All of the joint pains and back pain is located on the third cylinder. So I don't even have to stay in a bath for 20 minutes, but I'm staying longer because I'm not sure if my water is cold enough. So I'm staying for 20 minutes and I'm breaking through all five cylinders. Make sense? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. First of all, clarification. Did you say 14 degrees or 40? 40, 401 or 14? 14, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. 14 Celsius, one four. One four. Okay. One four. Okay. My other question is how it how the how um assuming you, you decide to do the running, it will work the same as doing the cold bath, right? It's it's works it's works the same, it's only that it's different. You can decide running, you can decide absolutely water. Yes, whatever is easier for you. If running is easy for you, you do three hours, 20 minutes to go through five cylinders. If walking is easy, you do the walking, but it takes five hours and 20, 25 minutes, something like that. So it's up to you what you choose to do in order to break through five cylinders. You can do just butterfly position or you can do cold water. I do all three, you don't have to do all three. You can just choose one that speaks to you. But uh, and you can also do it every five days. You don't have to do it every day. Okay. Yeah, my body feels a craving to do it every day. And I know if I do it every day, I stay in the routine. Because like meditation, if I skip one day, uh, I feel a difference. So I feel like, okay, same thing with the health. I will do it every day. Does it work as if like... Oh, if I stand for like 30 minutes and then I go to the cold plunge for just 10 minutes, you're still not hitting this all the cylinders. You're exactly. Only, okay, yeah. Exactly. Okay. And okay. same thing here. For example, if you do the butterfly position for 30 minutes and then you stand up, that means you when you stand up, you got to start doing all over all the cylinders. You cannot move during the butterfly position. When you're standing up, you cannot move. You cannot sit in the water up to your belly. It, then you're not clean, uh, 
breaking through the five cylinders, basically. No, you gotta do one thing with the time that you need. It just, you gotta know your cylinder and how many minutes it will take you. And that's why you have to be in tune with your body. When it's really hard to run and you're like, oh, I wanna stop, I cannot do it anymore. That means you're breaking through your cylinder. If you're gonna run, it's in the 45 seconds to a minute, you will overcome this. That means the first cylinder is you cleared up, you cleansed. Then you're running again, 18 minutes later, again, it's so hard to run. That means you're hitting the second cylinder. And you continue to run, you hit the third cylinder. Mm, I cannot do it anymore, you wanna stop, but if you do it, you're cleaning the third cylinder. Same thing in the water, same thing in the butterfly position or standing up. When you're hitting the cylinder, you cannot do it anymore, and you just gotta stand this pain. But the doctors typically say, oh, your back hurts, don't run don't exercise. Here's the peel. Everything in the United States and Western world, here's the peel. Don't walk. Don't run. No, we have to run. We have to do it in order to overcome our cylinders and give the energy where it's lacking. Which um, which thing that is for skin problems? Kidney problems? Skin, skin. Uh, skin problem is the second. Colds, allergies, uh, viruses is second cylinder. Yeah, and, and, and the knees is the third, right? Fat, overweight is the third cylinder. And the fat is the one that will, after third cylinder, going to start sending you the tumors to different parts of the organ because you did not do anything with it. It's the biggest signal that the toxins is there, fat is there, and if you're ignoring it, the next thing, it's going to start turning into tumors. Much bigger problem. Yeah. So this is third cylinder, but for your anxiety, it's the fifth cylinder. That means you've been ignoring it a long time and it's time to address it. For example, um, not following your purpose is the fear. Fear or is also on the fifth cylinder. Nervous system, mental problems, cancers, all in the fifth cylinder. They take long time to develop. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I understand, I mean. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, but the uh, uh, skin issue and the weight issue can be resolved faster because it's on the second cylinder and on the third cylinder. Okay. Yeah. So, ladies, I really want to acknowledge you for being in this really new conversation because today we were mainly talking about health. Uh, I could have added more about the relationship, but I thought let's concentrate on the Askeza and for you to understand five cylinders. And I really hope you're gonna start practicing it because once you're gonna start practicing it, I promise you, you won't be able to live without it. It's that incredible. And if at any point you will get that you wanna do it with a group, because I start doing it at 6 a.m., you can jump in with me, I do the butterfly, and then I run, and then I go in the bath, and you can be with me on the phone, I'll be more than happy because you'll get my energy. Let's run. <laughs> Let's go in the cold water. <laughs> Let's do the butterfly because I cannot live without it now. It's part of my routine, everyday routine. <laughs>